Hello everyone, I'm Guru Teddy. Today, I would like to introduce our 4.0 system. The name called Just in One. Wow. As we know, we're already using DingTalk to manage our work and tasks every day. However, it still has some limitation. Example, if you want to use DingTalk for your KPI, maybe it's not so suitable. It has some limitation also. Today, you no need to worry about it because we are using DingTalk eDart to customize the KPI system according to your requirement. Now, let us try. We just click this uh, KPI. Look. Wow, very nice. And this layout and interface, we can custom design according to your requirement. Now, it's the time for us to do the submission. I just click the button. And this one we call performance assessment. In this case, the worker has to submit the assessment every quarter. Now, the worker has to choose the year, correct year, the category Q1, Q2, Q3 or Q4. And based on this uh, assessment, and they are a group for the user to fill in the score. Example, if the worker think that he is eligible for 0.4, he just click the 0.4 and click OK. And at the same time, he must write down the details. But what is the reason he is eligible for this 0.4? And after this person fill in, the system will auto calculate the grand total score and also the grade E. So based on this grade, we can know that our staff falls on which grade. And if this person entitled for grade A or B plus, of course, next year maybe he will entitle for salary increment or other benefits. And here you can see why I attach so many languages. We know that uh, in Malaysia, uh, most of the companies, they have multi races, uh, some Chinese, some Malay, and also some foreign worker. If we give them three different languages, it will be easier for them to understand. At the same time, they also they can write down the points. Now, after fill in, after do the submission, all the data will go to KPI. And this one we call dashboard. Wow! Can you look? Just now, whatever we do the submission, all the data will be automatically updated in this dashboard. In other words, it's real-time data. So based on this uh, table, we can see that Teddy Cha is already number one in this company. And what is his score and what is his grade? Very simple. The next one, we look at this uh, pie chart. So this pie chart is going to tell me in year 2023, my employee, the average score is 75.18. If I want to look more details, I can just click on it. Wow, here got two different departments. Maybe I look another department. So here got three person. I can see very clearly what is the cost for my staff. I click again, now I can see more details for Teddy Chia. So Q1 and Q2, what is his score? The next one, this one we call line chart. Now, we would like to know our KPI trend. I just one click on it.
So based on this trend, uh, it clearly showed it. From Q1 to Q2, the trend is dropped. However, when go to the Q3, the overall score is increased. So it will give me a good sign. Another one. Here also another line chart. So based on the line chart, I can see my overall employee. So I just put the finger, I can see clearly uh, what is my staff average score. The next one, and this one we call DIY report. Okay. Here, do you see what does it mean the pivot table? I believe if you are using Excel, you should know the pivot table. So now we can base on this, we can DIY our report. Example, I don't want the report, the data show the score, I just untick. Wow, very fast, right? Of course, if you ask me, you want to view this uh, DIY report better using PC version. And the last one is the details. So based on this, we can clearly to get the data on time and no need to depend on my HR, depends on my department staff to do the summary and so on, no need. All the data will be shown immediately. And furthermore, we can use this app to custom make a coding to our actual requirement. If you are interested, please give a call to our customer service. See you next time. Bye-bye.